Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, after mass action in Nairobi, we saw the CS for Interior Kizura Kendiki walking in Nairobi streets alongside his bodyguard and uh, a number of security officers in civilian trying to show Kenyans and the whole world that there is normalcy in Nairobi, business is as usual, everything is good, and the environment is good for business. So it was showing that there is peace. And indeed, people were on the streets about their own business. One question you'll be asking yourself, why is Kithura Kendiki working with a lot of security around him just to show there is peace, if indeed there is peace in this country? Akona bodyguard wengi, akona security wengi, wanamfata tu hapo nyuma, hapo nyuma, hapo nyuma. And as all this is happening, we know what Kenyans have been going through. If you go to those slum areas, I wish Kedura Kindike would be walking to Nyalendo slums, Madare. He go to all those areas so that he can confirm to what he was showing the world about Nairobi, if indeed it is same in those other areas. I'm saying so because we have seen Kenyans being brutalized, butchered, killed on a gun bullet. Some people being removed from their house, beaten like snakes. You break someone completely. That has all been happening. And as this is going on, eh, the sad story we are getting is that there is a return of Al Shabab in this country. We are saying return because for a long time we do not hear anything about Al Shabab. Remember, Kenya went to an extent of putting a security wall so that they can have specific entries to watch these people when they want to make their way to Kenya. So, for long, we have never had the issue of Al Shabab. But now it's close to a year William Ruto in office. Now the narrative of Al Shabab is coming back. The Mandela governor Mohammed Aden Khalif confirmed on camera that Al Shabab are now making their way back to the northeastern counties. You're talking about Mandela, Wajir, Garissa, Isiolo. And he's saying that. Close to 60% of those areas in Mandela, it has been occupied by Al Shabab. The Al Shabab presence is increasing in those areas. To an extent, the county government cannot deliver services to their own people. Look at that. Akianda Kusema Ivo, in other words, what he has what he has feared to say is that Al Shabab is controlling 60% of those areas. That's what he has feared to say. Because if they cannot deliver service to their people, because 60% there is presence of Al Shabab, indirectly he's saying that, but because the governor, he cannot say that. I can tell you for Mandera, Al Shabab presence and sightings are more than 60% of Mandera county. That, what that means is that we are no longer be able to go out of our headquarters to provide services to the people of uh, our, our counties. And Al-Shabaab is not the security, force, uh, security problem, only for security forces. Al-Shabaab is our problem. And I want to confirm that the people of these four counties are willing and ready to support the government to fight Al Shabaab if proper structure is put in place so that the locals are involved in fighting Al Shabaab. Now we are continuing with this pipeline discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, Master, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, we know with all what we are witnessing now, it's like we are on a wrong trajectory. Imagine 
police officers in this country are fighting hungry Kenyans who are telling the government we are hungry. And their enemy is watching in Garissa, Mandera, Wajir, Isiolo. And because they are busy fighting the people they should be protecting, so they open the door for the enemy now to come in. The focus of Kidure Kindiki, ata duale mwenye hana kazi yoyote hapa, ni meona mpaka anaika zile karatasi ya kusema ya kwamba, oh, sujui Kidure Kindiki amesema kusu maandamano, oh, wanaambia watu wa sujui wanajeshi, sujui musinunue maziwa ya Brookside, and all those things. They forget their main agenda. We are seeing police officers who have more courage to shoot children and toddlers. Mdoto wameka kumina tatu wanapigwa disasi. Lakini alasababu ako kule mandera, hawezi fikiwa na huyo police. Where are we heading to? We want the CS for interior kitura kindiki to also go to Mandela. Mandera, Ayanda North Eastern, and the Kutembea in those towns. We are not in Nairobi. Then from there we will understand. And you should do like that every day. Ayanda Tembea uko hivo, arudi. Na sikuwa na hawa, watu na mzunguka hapo nyuma. Then from there we will know we have peace in this country. Imagine the entire state is fighting Mamangina Kenyatta. Alafu, alishababu ako hapa, akuna mdo na shugulika kuhusa alishababu. What are we doing? The entire focus is focusing on Uhuru Kenyatta's son. Tumeona jamaa na ni, Osora na sema na ameanza kumanufakcha another information of 100 guns. They are focusing on someone who has a licensed gun. Hata kama hiko labda ni labda ni mbili tatu. But they are licensed by the same government. Instead of focusing with our enemy, they are focusing on politics. The enemy is watching and then the enemy is getting a chance to come and finish a Kenyan. Mkenya apigwe na polisi wa Kenya. Uyo mkenya mwenyewe pia apigwe na alishababu. Anafu ekonomi itakuwa wapi. Bina wanaingia mandela wameanza kukuja. So what will stop them coming to Nairobi? What will stop them? Soon you will hear. And for the governor to, do, to go to that extent of confirming that criminal gangs are back, bandits, in a county, you know, kila mtu anataka biashara. Na asa governor, you need people to come and invest. But ikifika kikuwango, anakuja kusema hivi, just know, ni kubaya. Unajua siku ingine mdawa di alisema, eh, alikuwa na uleza swali lingine, <laughs> na ilikuwa ni swali mbaya kweli, ya kwamba, in Kenya, where is, you know, in, in the cities we have, tuko na Nairobi, Kisumu, na Mombasa, na pia na kuru. Alikuwa na uleza, which among these cities, it is the most risk to invest. Alikuwa nrajia umati maambie Kisumu. Reason was, mambo ya maandamano. Ile kelele, governor anyangu nyonga alitoa. You cannot paint a county like that because they need investors. Haka sema kuna amani Kisumu. Na pia kakumbusha mdabadi, you are a big investor in Kisumu. That's true. Mdabadi has invested in Kisumu. And that's good because you provide the job opportunities to people. Sasa, imagine who the governor amekuja mwenyewe kusema hii manemu. Inamanisha, these people have really suffered. So, kuna watu wengine ni kama wako Kenya na wako Kenya. Because now, county government cannot deliver services to their own people just because of the fear of presence of Alishabab in those areas. Tuko sawa? Tuko sawa? So, in as much William Ruto, who is now the president, is focusing on Uhuru, is focusing on Raila, is focusing to go and put Kalonga Musoka under house arrest. But he's not focusing to give security to the people of Mandera, Wajir, Garissa. You know what Between Raila Odinga, Kalonzo, Uhuru, and this Al-Shabaab, who is a terrorist? 
And where should you put your focus? Because of this, the enemy is watching these people. And if they're not careful, soon Kenya will be in a dangerous situation. We're going to have a big problem. Focus is shifting. From food, they respond with a bullet. Now they, they are branding people as criminals. When there is real criminals in eh, Mandela, let this government go and deal with the Al Shabaab that the governor is talking about in Mandela. After they finish that one, they can come and play their politics. Otherwise, for a whole president to come and thank security officers for killing hungry, innocent Kenyans is dangerous. He has said the police have done a recommendable job. We know orphans have been killed because they were saying they are hungry. We know children of widows have been butchered just because they are saying that we cannot afford food. And then a whole president comes out and say, police mulifanya sawa. Then we are hearing that bandits are now coming in, terrorists are now making their way to the country. Who will protect us?